My name is Saba Douglas Hamilton. I'm a conservationist, a wildlife filmmaker, and I'm also the chair for the International Selection Committee at Future for Nature. I was very honoured to be asked to become part of the selection committee by Future for Nature because I believe passionately in promoting young conservationists and in trying to find ways to bring young people into working for the environment. I think it's immensely important that a new generation brings their ideas, their energy and their passion into trying to secure a future for the wild world. I was immensely lucky to have been born in Africa to parents who studied elephants. So I've spent a lot of my life surrounded by elephants and living in the bush. And from an early age, I developed a very uh, a deep passion for wild things and wild places. So as I grew up, it was quite natural for me to veer initially into conservation as a career, but then into wildlife filmmaking, which really is my great love. I've always been absolutely fascinated by wildlife behaviour, but not reading about it in a book, observing it. I like to be there firsthand in front of the animal and trying to understand the nuances of its behaviour. I feel more alive and happy when I'm out in the wilderness than I do anywhere else. And so I do my work partly for selfish reasons, but the other side of it is that I care deeply about the subject. I believe that one has to have compassion, one has to have a certain amount of reverence for the wild world. And I desperately want to find ways to bring people into the fold and get them caring about nature and wanting to protect it, because so much is under threat. And once it's gone, the process is irreversible. I was certainly deeply influenced by my parents when I was growing up, particularly the way my father did things, the way he acted around animals. I was, I was very moved by the respect that he had for nature, how gentle he was, how kind he was. And when he spent time with elephants, the one thing that he cared about more than anything else was to be able to come up very close to them and watch them. But then leave without them ever knowing that he was there. And I tried to absorb his way of doing things as a child. I liked that gentleness. And I've always felt that being respectful towards animals is key. I'm frightened by the general direction that the world seems to be going in, which is this runaway capitalism where possessions seem to be more important than anything else. It's almost like a disease that's eating up people's souls, this need to just collect more and more material wealth. Forgetting about the incredible richness of the stars in the night sky, or the sound of a frog chorus, or the pure air that we breathe. And these things are what keep us alive, and we have to understand our position within the greater ecosystem. We cannot live without a healthy planet and therefore we have to do everything we can to try and maintain its health and create a sustainable future. And now as a parent I feel that more acutely than ever before.